On today's episode of my student pilot series, I will be taking you with me flying from Livingston County Airport to Pontiac in part four of my 28th lesson in the pursuit of my private pilot certification. You can experience the real conversation between me and my instructor from takeoff to landing in just over 20 minutes. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video for my top five tips and tricks. Welcome to my student pilot series. This is Janice Lynn and I'm excited today to take you with me flying from Livingston County Airport to Pontiac in part four of my 28th lesson. If you've thought about becoming a private pilot but either haven't had the confidence to do it or lack the physical ability, I invite you to come along with me. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check the notification bell to let me know so I'll continue to take you along with me on my training. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh, there's a big plane. We'll have to go around him, right? So what we're going to do is this taxiway actually... Yeah, I don't know why they didn't pull there's up to the side. There's tracks around. So what we're going to do is we're going to steer to the right. The Actually, we're going to steer to the right, kind of follow the edge of the taxiway out here. We'll see how it goes to the right, right here. Do you want me to go? Yep. To where? So we'll follow, see this yellow line? Follow the yellow line right here. Oh. So it taxis us right here, and then if you follow this, it actually curves back around and takes us. Oh, okay. The oh. other person didn't do that. No, he just looks like he just cut around. A little snow cover, but no big deal. Are all the planes in the hangars? Yeah, probably. So there's another flying school that flies out of here, right? Yeah, crosswinds. They advertise their planes are newer because they have glass. Yeah, they have diamond uh, DA-20s and DA-40s. They're tiny little planes inside. The DA-20s are like, you think this one's small, it's like way smaller than this. There's our, those are uh, stick controls, so the controls down like here. Oh. Like, uh, joystick. So we'll follow it to There's the right, right there. There's the windsock that we saw from above. Um, do we keep going that way? Yep, we're going to go all the way to the left right here. So when we flew at night and we flew into um, Lansing, Definitely that intersection was confusing. Traffic, so thank you, one five, yeah, because you probably pulled off. Was it like a, at an angle kind of? Some yeah, of them are like, like I wanted to follow the line, which would have taken us to the to the hangars. Yeah, because but we had to go way left. Uh, Lansing, and some of those are what they call high speed taxiways. So they're meant for airplanes that land and want to pull off while they're still kind of moving to get to there. So you have to make more than like a 90 degree turn. Uh -huh. So we're no longer on flight following, right? Nope. Uh, okay. So we don't... So this is just like flying into and out of like Romeo and... You got it. Lapeer. Just another uncontrolled airport. Now this is kind of weird because I have to keep my wing back, right? Yep, we want to just hold short here for right now. Until we get, uh, until we get set up and we're ready to go. Okay, um, I guess we can put this back on DCT, right? Yeah, we can put that back, uh, it'll be 134.67, because we're in a different practice area. We're in the west. Oh, okay. I thought we would do the other one. Okay. Alright, so, um, let's put Pontiac in there. We can get rid of 128. I mean, 118, right? Sure can. 120.5. You no, know, flying involves a lot of numbers. You have to be comfortable with numbers. <laughs> you sure do. So you can set us up direct back to Pontiac too. So if you hit direct, 
And you, let's go down to the nearest. So use the big knob to come down to nearest. And then use the little knob to scroll through there. Go, keep going through there. Somewhere there's probably Pontiac in there. There you go. Hit enter. Enter again. All right. So we're departing to the east. Okay. So we're just let them know that we're departing runway 31. What does DTK on. mean versus TRK? Direct track is the track that we need to fly to get us there. TRK is the track that we are currently flying. Okay. All right, let's give them a call that we're departing runway 31 to the east. All right. Livingston County, Archer 5337, Foxtrot, departing 31, heading east, Livingston County. Okay. Good? Good. Nobody's coming out there. All right, All so right. we're ready to go. Um, are we aileroning into... Yep. So we're going to roll out there. We're going to we're gonna turn our ailerons to the left. Yes. Good. Right. Um, Lansing Airport was pretty at night. It had a lot of different colors in their lights. Their runway was... It changed colors as it went. Yeah. And so those lights, uh, as you get closer to the end, they start changing color. Yeah. They go alternating red and white and then all red at the last thousand foot. Now those beacons are hard to see from far away. Yeah, though. Lansing, you didn't find it until you got close. He was like, it's right out there in front of you. And yeah, you he's like, like, can't you see it? I'm like, what? <laughs> Did he turn the lights on here at how old you were going to no, no, I asked him about that and he said maybe on the way back and then, I don't Forgot. know. He didn't see, oh, there's somebody behind us. Okay, so ailerons into the wind a lot. Okay, heels to the floor. Full speed, everything looks green. Good, slowly bringing these ailerons out. We don't want that wing to dip. So the ailerons are just keeping us from drifting. Take a little more aileron out, there you go. That right rudder. Oh, I see the wind, the wing dipping that you're talking about. Good, you can keep this climb at 90 knots, I'm alright with that. Oh, okay. Keep it to where it's... When it's bumpy, you like to climb at a lower Yeah, pitch. just keep the, the pitch attitude a little lower. Okay. Links of traffic, so stay 215 X-ray, taking runway 31. The party is staying in the pattern. Alright, we're at 1500. Good, so we can start making a turn to the right here. Just coordinate a turn. So the TRK is the track that we're physically flying right now. Okay. So that's the line that we're flying over the ground, essentially. Yeah, County Traffic, King Air, 223 down, pop, taxi, and runway 31, County. Got me to turn the fuel pump off? Yeah, let's go ahead and do our 500 foot check. Do you want me to leave the lights on? Yeah, it's not going to hurt anybody leaving those lights on. Are we leaving the lights on because it's like cloudy out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Make ourselves more visible. to fly these airplanes um it takes a lot more strength and movement than like your car <laughs> very much so your car's got a uh, systems to assist and all that well it took me a while to get used to that right i just didn't know how much force i was supposed to use yeah because your car's got power steering so you can steer with your fingers and then if, when you start to read, it tells you to fly, like just have like your fingertips on things. Yeah, so you use the trim to help you, you know, maintain your climb, maintain your ascent, maintain straight and level. Good, and so you have 
our track is flying the same track that would get us there. But remember that it changes. It changes. Right? So direct TV? enter, enter. Oh, enter, enter. There you go. So now oh. it's 90. So now we want to get our track to match the direct track that this gets us there. All right. Good. And About then five degrees. There. There. Level three not right here. Three one. Uh, so set no, that heady bug. Says no sure. What this oh, essentially is doing is it's putting in a wind correction angle for us. Okay. It's telling us what direction to keep our nose facing so we fly a straight line over the ground. Yeah, look at our... Yeah. Well, so if you look at it, look... Can I change the fuel? Absolutely. How important is it that you do that right away? Um, you know, if it's flashing, you want to check those messages because they could tell you things other than the fuel. All I mean, right. if it went another 10 yeah. minutes, no big deal. Yeah, look, so look at your entry. Blow it up. Pretty darn good. So that's perfect. Oh, yeah. You cross right over the center of the field. Nice teardrop entry. Nice downwind, nice pattern right there. We didn't overshoot, we didn't undershoot you turned and got yourself lined up right on final. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we have eight minutes, 17 miles back to Pontiac. And that stuff is for, well, I guess there's a little bit of that. Um, the 77, 75, that was on the practice test. Yep, I absolutely. don't know that this frequency yeah, was. might not be, but it's the, it's the same no matter where you are. Okay. So uh, we're 16 miles from Pontiac, what should we do on our way back into Pontiac? We should listen to the ADA. There we go. And actually we can go full over because sure. we're not talking anyway. 507, visibility 10, ceiling 2900 broken, 12000 overcast. Temperature minus 3, dew point minus 8, altimeter 3005. Visual runway 27 left approaching youth landing and departing runway 27 left, runway 27 right. Notice chairman, runway 1836 closed. All IFR departures, contact ground control 121.9 for clearance, advise on initial contact you at Quebec. 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 Yeah, but what did they say about the wind? We didn't hear that. Okay. Running tower information, Quebec, 1353 Zulu weather, wind 2507, visibility 10, ceiling 2900 yep. broken, two five wind 2507. Sometimes what I do if I'm not using this is I put the wind oh, direction okay. in here. This is a kind of a, is a reminder. So Pontiac is directly in front of us right now. So you might not be able to make it out right now. We're right off the departure end. Okay. Let's steer a little bit more to the north here. So we stay on the north side of the airport. We're not going right at it. Um, okay, so can we put Pontiac in here? Yep, Pontiac. We already got it loaded up right there. The 123? Or uh, the 120? 120, 120, right. So you can verify. Right here from the, the airport sectional, right? We have all that air. We have all this information on the sectional too, right? Oh yeah, it's in there, right? DT one two zero point five. DT is control tower. Okay. And if we don't hear anybody talking on there, how can you verify that you have the volume at the correct level? You can push a button. Yeah. Push, push this button. Yep. Push it in. There you go. Okay. So now you know. Oh, you have to turn it off. So you can adjust that volume. So. The airport is straight in front of us right here. It's kind of like the field you see way out in the haze. Let's steer slightly more to the left here because we're okay. right off the departure end. And visibility is definitely dropping up here. So we can even descend down to maybe 27, 2500 if you want. Okay, we are 10 miles to the west. Oh, so we have to call them? Yeah, we have information in Quebec. Okay. Honey Tower, Archer 5337, Foxtrot, 10 miles west, inbound, Quebec. 5337, Foxtrot, Honey Tower, I dent. 
Is this trying to work? Full stop. Full stop, 37 Foxtrot. 37 Foxtrot, runs that report. Two miles southwest of the field, left traffic, runway 27 left. Did I just say 27 left? Yep, two miles southwest, 27 left. Two miles southwest, 27 left. 37 Foxtrot. Alright. 37 Foxtrot, offset the departure quarter, please. We'll be at Jet departing here momentarily straight up. Alright, we're making a turn to the southwest 37 Foxtrot. Thank you. Alright, so let's make a little steeper turn here. I'm a little low, I'm at 1600. Or I'm sorry, 26. 26. Is that okay? Yeah, let's stay right here at 26. Alright, we're going to make a little steeper turn here. Alright, so now he's at 1600. Yep. Right? They said southwest, he wants us to offset. I'm surprised he sent us to the southwest, but. Right three, go Juliet, follow Cherokee on the right, Cherokee on the right, 27 right, clear for takeoff. 27 right, uh, clear for takeoff, follow the right track, follow the 7, and 3 under Juliet. 3 0, Fox, right, right, Cherokee, discretion. Okay, right traffic at our discretion, 3 0, Fox, right. Right three, go Juliet, do you want another short approach? No, it's good, now we can go ahead and we're going to be entered right into the downwind here. Okay. Um, we can put ground in, right, for later? Sure. 121.9. So the wind at 2.5 is going to be a little bit, right? Yeah, but so it was we only have at 7, so. So it's 20 degrees off the nose. We're landing on runway 27, the wind's 250. So at night, my lows is really lit up, which is good. Okay. Um, the peninsula on the lake is kind of hard to see. And then... What's the, was the tower still open when you guys were flying? Yes. Because yeah, it's open until 8, I believe. Yeah, it's right when we concluded it, it shut down. Okay. And then at the end, um, where we usually see the retirement home, I mean, I couldn't see that. Okay, I'm just... Is this okay? Yeah, so we're going to slowly three, descend... Three, four, 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 slowly descend into our traffic pattern, right? Okay. Clear to land, three, four, um, but down at the end, there were um, a bunch of antennas that were lit up, yeah. they were red, but I didn't know if I should, I felt like I wanted to fly over top of shot, them, but it shot. felt... Continue down, I'll call your base. I continue down when you call the base, 37, Gotcha, 787, Pony, tell you ready to go. Yes, sir. Gotcha, 787, fly right ahead. I couldn't tell if I should turn before or after. Or three, go Juliet, number two, flying trap. So that's kind of the trick at night like two, is making that determination. Because you don't necessarily have a reference all the time at the end of the runway. Okay, I'm at 2,000, so I don't really want to go below 2,000. We're maintain 2,000. He said continue downwind. He's going to call our base, sir. Oh, okay. Is this line kind of the half mile? Yeah, this is the road right here. Is that a road? Yeah. Okay. That's Pontiac Lake Road. We can follow that. I'm descending. All right, so I had some power. Add some power. If we need to use trim to help you maintain the self suit, use that trim. I don't see much activity down. Oh, there's a plane on the runway, I guess. Taking off. Runway heading, contact Detroit departure. 
Departure, executive zone. I think I'm at midfield. Can I come down? Midfield, so. Yeah, 2000. Power. Lights, good. My lights are on. Mixture is. Right, can I do flaps? Traffic is one mile right base. Company chair, can you have that traffic in sight? I gotta look at 375. I go one mile. He said the traffic's making a one mile. I got the traffic, 375. 375, I'm sorry, you said that truck in sight. Paper, three, seven, five, seven. Fox, Roger that change, two right, two seven right, right two seven right, quit land number three, following that trap kind of mile final. Car cleared number three, following the traffic for two seven right, three seven five seven. All right, the traffic is right there. Oh, okay. So I should maintain our altitude. Yep, we'll maintain our altitude for right now. Okay, once he passes our wingtip. We'll start that turn. So right about, right, Fox, right, right, at right about here, right we'll start that turn. He said right taxi via Delta. Three, three, zero, Can I do more flaps? Absolutely. Yeah, the towers that you were seeing flashing are like the municipal buildings right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad spot to be on base. Yeah, but do you want to turn after or before? I wanted to like fly right over it, yeah, but... Right over it'll work. Uh, I felt like it was, I felt like I was too, uh, too close. Oh, I see lights. Yep, and we're cleared for runway 27 right. Oh, 27 right? Yep. I missed you said, that. You said switch to 27 right. Why would he do that? Because he knows we're pulling off to DCT, so it's just going to make okay. it easier for us to tax via. All right, so I've got reds. Yep. Four eight three, good Juliet. Turn right at Whiskey. Runway two seven right. Taxi Delta. Like I said, right now, don't worry about those lights. Okay. Fly like we've been flying. Maintain that picture right here. Okay. Can I do my third set of flaps? Yeah, we can make that runway. Third set of flaps. Picture's getting big. You're getting a little. We're getting a little low. So add some power. Bringing that power in. Now Do see where? how the see how the nose is facing this way? I want you to push the right rudder until we're aligned straight up with the runway. There you go. Now hold your foot right there. Good, start reducing this power. Good, look down the runway. We're gonna have to hold those ailerons to the left just like you have them. There you go, looking down the runway, holding those ailerons. Good. Foxtrot, turn right at Juliet, contact ground point enter. Turning right at Juliet, 37 Foxtrot. Wow, two hours of flying is a lot of work. Now for my top five tips and tricks. Number one, learning to fly is a marathon, not a sprint. Number two, repetition is the key to learning. Three, keep going, you're almost there. Four, have fun, and five, success comes from curiosity, concentration, perseverance, and self-criticism. Thanks for staying until the end. If you want to join me for practicing maneuvers and emergency procedures, be sure to check out my Lesson 28 Part 5 video.